never in our worst dreams could we have imagined that our homeland would descend into civil war so quickly. That the nightmares of our childhood would return to haunt another generation. I feel the burden of responsibility, and my journey has taken me from an idyllic childhood in the village of Akobo, South Sudan, which I remember vividly, to child soldier, refugee. There's a young man we're working with. His father is Syrian. He has no options right now. He's stateless. No papers. He can't open a bank account. He had a hard time getting educated, but he's got his Master's of Finance now. He's worried about being kicked out of the place he's living. He is worried about his future, but he's a very talented young man and we've connected him with several employers. In fact, he's been interviewed uh, for a job in Australia, for a job in Canada. Oxfam works on the ground in these countries with refugees directly that are impacted by the violence, persecution, war, and other conditions that the refugees are fleeing from. And we support them, whether their journey as refugees cross the Mediterranean or end up being resettled here in the United States of America. We work to advocate and amplify the voices of refugees here to our Congress and our administration and making sure that our country that's built on immigrants and refugees welcomes them. My heart flutters every time I hear the national anthem. Um, and it flutters with intensity because it brings back all those memories of being one of the boat people, of being here and coming here and having my sponsors who just welcomed us in to their homes and taught us how to use money and um, took us to church and taught us English. And it's all those teachers who were you know, going the extra step to help someone learn a new language or culture. What happens in these countries that are plagued by war or even natural disaster, they haven't chose to leave their country. They want to stay in their country. They want to, you know, that's their home. It's their ancestors' home. So this idea that people want to leave their country and want to flock to the United States is, is really not the case. I came to this country, I worked hard, I started from zero, from nothing, and left my country with nothing, and uh, I worked hard, studied hard, and today I'm just a normal person. I saw how hard my parents work. Uh, two jobs, my father was, you know, had to work on the oil rigs um, as a janitor. My mom was a waitress. Uh, she worked all kinds of jobs, and even I remember our home where we created a little mini restaurant. We would you know, take everything out on the weekends, put all our sofas, set up tables, and my mom would cook and run a mini restaurant. The One Journey Festival will use food, music, dance, fashion, to share the refugee stories, to understand that they are just, their brothers and sisters, mothers and fathers, just like us, and that we have a shared common of humanity, essentially celebrate with our refugee brothers and sisters. And I want the One Journey Festival to have everybody that attends to be reassured that that's the life they'll have in the United States as a refugee. The people that aren't refugees, hey, we're, you're going to be neighbors. Meet your neighbors. This is an exciting time. You should go to One Journey Festival to have fun. <laughs> to have fun, to enjoy yourself, to learn something about um, other cultures and about your culture. So maybe the aspects that you didn't see until now. You should go to the One Journey Festival to connect with people you probably would not have chance to meet anywhere else. You should give to the One Journey Festival because this is a first ever grassroots 
effort at this scale to help raise the awareness of the refugee crisis as well as building the community together to support a grassroots movement on refugee, changing the narrative on refugees. My wife and I decided uh, this year to financially support uh, the cause and the One Journey Festival. The festival could certainly use more volunteers. We're anticipating a large crowd and welcomers, ushers, greeters would really make a difference. Every one of us have our individual stories, have our individual paths, but we are all traveling on one journey of humanity together. Thank you.